Hi everybody, long time no see. So many of you know that this summer I have went part-time a little bit, not really, I'm still doing all the same things. I am doing some a little bit less, but I'm still focusing all my efforts on Poshmark. But I took a large chunk of my time and put it out in my garden. But you guys, I went to Goodwill Bins, the outlet store here in Indianapolis, and it was so dang good that it brought me out of my garden and back to show you guys exactly what I found. So because I'm at the bins, keep in mind, I have a few things that I got I wouldn't get at all at the regular store, like at regular price, but it's kind of some fun fillers. But I got some really good stuff. So let me start off by showing you. Matter of fact, I have four things already listed and I will insert them towards the middle of the video so you see those as well. Okay, the very first thing I got is a Michael Kors puffer style long coat. So it is brown, it's in excellent condition. It has zipper and snap, zipper pocket. It has a lot of nice details, including the faux fur trim. So I'm excited about that. The next thing, this is something that did not sell at Goodwill, but it was at the bins and it's a beta brand. And that brand is going down just a little bit, but it's a nice size, you guys. And look at these fun, like cutouts at the end. And it's a size extra, extra large. So I thought that was a great size. Okay, the next thing I found was a fair, I found two pair of page jeans, but one of them was very dated and I don't have a lot of luck with those, but I think these should sell, you know, moderately. They will sell for a good price and that's really what I'm after, but it might take a little while, but it's a good size. So this is page 38 inch waist and it's the Federal. Okay, so it is not a skinny jean. It's of a straight leg, maybe a boot cut. I have to look that up to see, to be sure. And the next thing I picked up, I pick these up all the time. It is just a little cape shawl. It's gonna look wonderful with what I have on today, which by the way, hello, I am dressed down. I was not kidding that you guys got me out of the garden. I'm getting ready to go out into it right after this video. But you know, this is just like nice for like those football games and stuff like that. So it's good to bundle with. So I always pick these up, whether it's like summer or winter. I always pick up like a little poncho. This is one of my, just picked up based on style, but it's French Laundry. That's not a horrible brand, but I think it's sold a lot at maybe Kohl's. I'm not positive, but it's a fun and it's new attack. But look at that big, fun Calnet color with the fringe. It's a lightweight, almost feels like cashmere. Probably isn't, but maybe, who knows. Guys, it's brand new wood tags. A little bit wrinkled there. That's just the static electricity from it being with other things, but it's also a good size, a size extra large. Okay, look here. So I get in this one bin. And you know, if you guys know the bins, then you know that's a little bit competitive at some of them. And Indiana is one of them. So we have people that reach, like I will be right here, right here. You see my hands right in front of me, right here, digging into some clothes to see what it is. And I will literally have somebody reach down in front of me and try to grab things out. I had that happen. I'm like, no, 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 no. You stay right over there in your spot. I'm going through this pile. So he kept, being persistent doing that. So I just grabbed the whole pile and put it in my cart and went it through my cart because I knew this was the first thing I found, Patagonia. So it's like new condition, men's Patagonia jacket. It is a good size. All the things in the men's I found is a good size, extra, extra large. Okay, kind of bring it up here so you guys can see the whole thing. Okay, it's just a simple Patagonia jacket. This one I picked up style based and it is Maurice's. Maurice's sells for me and it's because they have cute clothes. This is an extra, extra large and they are not inexpensive to go shopping at, to be honest. Okay, so it's just a super cute little lightweight sweater top. I picked this up also based on style, no doubt that it will sell, but it may be a good brand, you guys. I don't know. It's just red is what it says. Well, let me get it there. That's what it says. So I'm not sure, but I just loved 
the big plaid. I'm mad about plaid. So I do like pick up plaid every single year, but it's just a nice, big, long duster sweater and it's so very soft. Something's got my nose going, you guys. Okay, so another style-based pickup. Even though I'm telling you, I really got some good stuff. It's done in here. Okay, let me button these up. Because you guys always, I mean, come on. If you're OG and you've been around a long time, you know that I button buttons on camera to make you guys wait. These are no boundaries, actually, but they've been repurposed. And they're vintage, like rigid cotton, no boundaries. I thought that the patchwork was super, super cute. And that is the only reason I picked them up. And they actually feel like nice jeans. Baggy jeans are in fashion. It's a good size. It was quirky. Sometimes I need extra stuff when I don't feel like going out sourcing. So I picked up a lot of that, you know, at the bins because it's less expensive. The next thing I picked up is Crofton Burrow men's sweater extra large tall okay you guys do not miss out on men's sweaters especially just ones for normal business or even casual business attire for men always sells well for me especially if it's wool or cashmere that sweater will do well because it's neutral it's simple it's not flashy most men don't like to be flashy right so that is right up their alley you guys i picked this up I had no idea what it was when I picked it up and put it in my cart. I just thought, whatever it is, if it's not a good brand, it'll be mine. And then I saw this and I'm like, oh, what? Heck yes, I found myself a second Patagonia shirt and it's a size extra large and it's this cool, oh my gosh, it's got this most luxuriously soft fabric. Then it has this funnel neck hood on it as well. It's super comfy, cozy. I can tell that's gonna be wonderful. The next thing I found was, oh my goodness, hang on a minute, you guys. I have a nail that's not cooperating. I don't want it to snag anything. Hey, good American. It's a size two. It's the only thing it's got going against it, but they are a modern pair of leggings. Love the texture on this, you guys. Good American is a nice brand. That's a basic, so I don't expect to get a lot out of it. Then we have a Yeti cooler hat. Shoot, these coolers cost a lot. Maybe somebody wants a hat to go with it. I mean, it probably cost me 25 cents to pick up. So I found two pair of these shorts and that same stack that I hoarded into my cart. Because I knew I was, I was in a good area. I knew that I had found some good men's stuff in that pile. So this is Prana and it's the Zion shorts, which is a more modern pair. These are $75 new. I'm telling you what, the way my husband goes through shorts, heck no. I would never pay that much for a pair of shorts. I guess for the proper gentleman that goes out golfing and that does not do the things that my husband does, <laughs> they'd be great because they really are a nice pair of shorts. Another Prana piece, extra, extra large. So it's got a bear hug on it. Isn't that funny? And normally you guys, I wouldn't have paid any attention to this shirt. I would have saw it and thought Walmart, Target, whatever, but I'm starting to look at different things now instead of just Bohemian because it's going out a little bit, right? So I'm broadening my horizons. And because it was in that stack of good stuff is exactly why I looked at every single tag that was in that stack. You guys, I picked up this because I know at one point it was a great brand. I'm not sure. I think they sell for like around $25 to $30. So worth it. But I, man, do I hate listing and selling men's button up shirts. But it is untuck it and it's a size extra, extra large. And not only did I get one, somewhere in the stack I got a second one so I can bundle them together and that might get it sold a little bit faster. You guys, this was a total mess up. Matter of fact, we're unsure if I even picked this out. This may have gotten put in my cart by somebody else. Um, there was kind of like somebody throwing some clothes around. There was an argument at the bins, you guys. <laughs> and uh, I just kind of walked away from my cart and let it happen. But hey, you know what? 
Oh, well, it's cute. It's not like a name brand or anything, but my gosh, it is awful cute. <laughs> it's a bonus, right? And it's plus size. So it's this really soft flannel little mini dress. Versona is the brand name. It's a size extra large. They had wanted $8 for it. It's a wrap dress. It has a little ruffle hem. It's adorable. I want to call it a win. I didn't pick it out, but I think they picked it out for me because they got over in a fight over something across the bins from each other. My gosh, you guys, the girls, the girls in the shirt. Okay, so this is just Rewind 1X. I would have picked this up for two reasons anyways. Even though it's Rewind, it's fall. It's got that like corduroy type texture to it. So it's a shacket. And it's a plus size jacket and it's a pretty bright pink, but Barbie core, you guys, I picked it up straight for Barbie core. Okay. Even though it's just a no name brand, I got these and I'm unsure if I should have or not, to be honest. Um, it was an exciting day and so busy. There was no carts. So therefore I did not have an opportunity to look up any kind of comps, but this is pack sun, um, active stretch pants. This is leather, so this white part is leather. My only thing is I don't think that the knees are supposed to have a rip. But look, it has like a, am I even showing it? It has like a zipper there on the cuff. So they're kind of like a unique pair of pants. Remind me a little bit of like a jogger. And they are like a lightweight denim. And Paxson is not inexpensive, so I'm gonna give it a try. Worst case scenario, I sell it for $15. I picked this up, Vineyard Vines, little kid's top, because it's Vineyard Vines. I picked this up because it will sell, because it has a woof on it and it's in good condition. It's on a beautiful blue collar. It is a hoodie, is an adult size. It's just um, jersey, so somebody's printed that, and it's a size medium. So it had all those things going for it. It was like new, it had the woof on it, and it was a nice blue color, like a color many people like. Like if that was a purple wolf sweatshirt, I probably wouldn't get it. Even though I love the color purple, I have a hard time selling it. Do you guys? Okay, I picked this up for style alone. This is vintage. Well, look at this kind of like, alt, it's, it's like an ultra suede. It looks like a suede, but it is faux suede and it has all the grommets all over. It's got this real Western detail. We have like the lacing. It's kind of a flowy, boxy fit. All those things somebody's going to enjoy. All right, you guys, I got this. It was in that man's stuff. It is not buttoned up, but I'm not gonna take the time to button. It is a very nice, wish I could show it better, because it is really a very nice flannel. Like the collars are fade, not faded, but they're like muted. So that makes it nice. It's not bright. It has a chambray denim look. It's so soft. It's actually well made and it is Marmot. And I would say that this is probably the more expensive Marmot, not the kind at Costco. And it is a size extra, extra large. Okay. So where we go, we're getting into flannel season and that one is a nice one. I got this based on style. It is awesome, you guys. It is Sherpa lined. I'm gonna zip it up so you guys can see it in its glory. I was unsure if I was gonna have time to do this, so I just packed all this stuff to where it wouldn't wrinkle, honestly. I didn't zip up or button up. Okay, but look at this big heavyweight jacket. So Coastal Cowgirl is in fashion. This is like a chore coat. It's this gorgeous like gray stripe with like a pale blue going throughout it. It is quality. It's really nice. It is the brand name Cavu, probably not saying that right. And it's a size extra large. Let me show you the tag. So it's just a really nice jacket, shirt jacket, a little bit more than a shirt jacket because it's very weighty. Okay, I got, this is the other untuck it. So remember I told you got two the same size. So here's the other one and I might just pair those together. So Untuck It used to be a really good brand for men's. Okay, and then we pulled out of there this cool plaid shirt. Oh my gosh, I love the collars. Look at the stitching, like the, whatever that is, yeah. So like a stitching on this. So that white is a little bit of embroidery, very like low profile. It is a men's prawn shirt. 
So we have the Prana logo there on the back and it's a size extra, extra large because it was all this one guy's stuff. Okay, and we have Nordstrom's Men's Shop, 100% Merino Wool, 2XL. What a very nice, high quality, gorgeous, tight knit sweater. All right, you guys, I'm gonna show a few more pieces and then I gotta get back to it. We're at about 15 minutes, so I'm gonna show as much as I can. And then just know I have a whole other tub full of stuff. That was just a wonderful day. So this is another one of the Marmot flannels. Very good condition, very nice quality. Love the collar wave of that. Again, it's a double extra large men's. I then found Free People Beach, size small. So this is like a little slip skirt. Even though Free People does not sell, unless it's something really special, it doesn't sell well and fast for me. It does bring attention to my closet, so I'm always still excited to find it. Plus, I love Free People myself, to be honest. Okay, and then we have another pair of those shorts in brown. So you guys will see a photo of one up, or you may have, I may have already put it in the video. And then I showed you those ones, but then we have these too. So it's another pair of the Zion Prana pants, or shorts size 40 inch waist, if I didn't say that before. Then I found this dress and it was just unassumingly laying there and I would have never probably picked it up. I am trying to get out of trying to sell dresses unless they're very, there's just something about them. And I shouldn't even say that. I'm trying to make myself stop doing that. However, I just done that wrong. However, I just picked up like four dresses today and I've been trying to sell my dresses clearance so that I didn't have a dress rack but I'm a sucker I'm a sucker for dresses okay so this is a free people piece and I just saw the tag inside of there and that's why it made me investigate further it's just a plain black uh, dress a line it's a gorgeously made has the button up front I think it has pockets but I'm not positive it has these tie details on the sleeve. It's just a super cute, well-made little dress. And I found this and I was excited because it's vintage. And you guys, most of my business is, most of my money, my profits is made by finding vintage items. And sorry, I'm a mess. I keep seeing my shirt all wrinkled up. It's driving me mad. But I'm telling you, this is what I got time for y'all. When you're trying to do two businesses, it's just how it is. I've got some cleaning up to do on this, but this is Kickers and it is a vintage 1970, okay, is when they came out, genuine leather sweater type of thing, like coat. So look at that. So it's a patchwork design. Let me get the sleeve out here. Patchwork design on the front. It's got a full button up and then it has like sweater sleeves and sweater back. Oh my gosh, that was such a special piece. And then I actually picked up this next item because of this. So I've seen this, it's like, what kind of gaudy, wonderful thing is that? It's Towncraft. It is also, this is 19, like 1970s JC Penney's, size large. I think it even might be men's, or supposed to be men's. I don't know, I'm unsure. Because you know, they all dress, I mean, this is like Austin Power stuff if it was for a man, but that's okay. I'm okay with you, I'm okay with people being who the heck they wanna be. You guys, I'm just trying to get this tied up so it's in all of its glory. It reminds me of like Hugh Hefner and his cigar coat or his house coat that he always wore. I'll figure it out eventually. So it's got like a satin belt on it. That kind of cracks me up. Gosh, it would be wonderfully beautiful for the fall for, for a lady. Look at this jacket. I'm mean, not giving any justice for it. Let's see, no, no hanger in sight. It is so cute. You guys, I will take a picture of this and put it up because it is gonna be so cute on the mannequin. Let's see real quick. Can you guys see her? The difference between holding it up and putting it on a mannequin is all a difference, or a hanger, whatever you use. I just so happened, I actually use both. Sometimes I think it looks better on a hanger than it does on the mannequin.
But look, isn't it so cute? It's got that satiny trim, satin button, satin cuffs, and this is all corduroy. It's so darling. Then, if that wasn't unique enough, oh, wait a minute, I told you I was going to show you this. I got this because it's beautiful collars. You guys, I would open it up, but I don't want to take the time. Beautiful collars. It has like the little tassels on it. I thought, honestly, it'd be just nice to have an extra piece to take a picture of. But look how cute that would be together. So it's going to look super cute in my Poshmark closet because I'll make sure I list that and that close to each other. And when people scrolling, it kind of has this matchy matchy ideas. Like for, you know, what they could wear together. All right, you guys, I found what Carrie wore to prom, I swear to goodness. It is vintage and nobody wanted to touch it. And I'm like, like nobody, like I kept seeing people pick it up and throw it down. I'm like, what, are, what is your problem, you guys? Somebody out there, I promise. Look at this beautiful cottage core fairy, Disney princess, or if you're a horror film buff, Carrie goes to prom dress from the 1970s, so pretty oh my gosh i was excited to find that i get excited to find vintage pieces i get excited to find good brands too though okay so this is u.s polo ralph lauren kids jacket i bought it to try to take it to a consignment store but i do put that stuff up for sale and then i like collect it over a couple months because i really don't buy a lot of kids and then i take it to the consignment store so we have another super cute piece it's gonna be hard to show. This is another one of my dresses I couldn't resist. It's Juna Rose, and it is a size 1X. It is a wrap dress, very hard to show you guys. Let's see here, maybe a little bit. So it wraps around, it has like a ruffle type detail. You guys see those ruffles? It is just the cutest fabric. Look at that, look at all those ruffles. Again, on the mannequin, that is going to be adorable. I found a funky fur hat for some diva in the winter time. They're going to want that. I have no doubt about it. Okay. And I'm going to show you two more things. I'm going to show you my favorite find of the day and a cool find. So I pick up these skirts. It's a hippie skirt. Look at this tie dye. I got a lot of steaming to do, but it has like the raw edge trim. It is the true hippie boho festival skirt. I need to get this up right away before it's too late. Then one last thing to show you how good my day was. It was wonderful. Not only that, I went to Carmel to shop at the Goodwills and I got lost. Like they just, they've changed the road. So anyways, I got lost and aggravated. I'm just going to the bins, but I did go to one. I found a $199 cooker for $15 and I snagged that up so that I could do my tomatoes in it. So that was, that was worth the trip right there. But looky here, what I found at the end of the day. Not only is it Tory Burch, is a Tory Burch tweed, fully, well not fully, but that is embroidered, what you see on there. And then look at the, you know, it gives it away print. Blazer, gorgeous, and a size Six. Oh my gosh, you guys. Tori Birch at the bins. Finally, Indiana. Thank you for allowing me to find something exciting as they do in other states. I'm ready to move to Minnesota, Colorado, Texas. Oh my gosh, Texas. That would be my favorite. Bye, everybody. Until next time. See you later.